السلام عليكم الحمد لله وصلاة وسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله تفسير القرآن is known in four ways and this is in accordance to a statement of Ibn Abbas and رضي الله تعالى عنهم هما he says first or first الأول تفسير تعرفه العرب من كلامها that the first type is that the Arab is knowing uh, tafsir according to the Arabic language. And it is knowing the uh, terminologies, uh, the linguistic terminologies. Uh, for example, the word sama or kaf and other than that. The second way of uh, the waj of Quran, if you will, the waj of knowing the Quran, tafsir la yu'dhar ahad bi jahlihi. This is the tafsir. The explanation of the Quran, which no one is excused from being ignorant of. So the second way is the tafsir that no one is excused by being ignorant of. And it is knowing what Allah has made as an obligation upon his servant. From, from the issues such as those things we're responsible for, like the rulings of prayer, uh, the uh, zakat, fasting, and hajj. The third way, habitifillah, tafsir la ya'lamuhu illa ulama. The third way is tafsir that only the scholars know. Mithil. So the third uh, way is tafsir that only the scholars know and those are things such as knowing those verses which are muhkam you know that they are the verses that are clear and um, that are clear and wadih in which uh, to judge by and that are, that are clear to and apparent to everyone. وَمُتَشَابِهِ Those things which are ambiguous. And knowing that which is um, general and that which is restricted and other than that because that has to do with particular rulings. And this is something that the scholars specifically uh, no, those scholars of tafsir, those people who study and teach the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and its rulings. The fourth, al-rabi' tafsir, istathar Allah bi ilmihi wa la ya'lamuhu illa Allah ta'ala. Wa ma'rufat al-haqaiq al-asma'i wa sifat, wa ma'rufat al-haqaiq al-akhira, wa nahu dhalik mimma istathar Allah bi ilmihi. So the fourth level or way of tafsir is the tafsir which only Allah knows, like the full extent of it. Uh, and this is, for example, things such as knowing the full reality of Allah's divine names and attributes, or knowing the full reality and import of the day of judgment and other than this from knowledge that only Allah knows. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and increase us with ilman nafi, ruskin tayyib, wa ilman al-mutakabbilin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.